McLaren Elba today. Great looking car, great looking casting. It's from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. It's number six out of 10, and it's a model that's supposedly new for 2022. It says on the package, guaranteed for life. Yeah, I'm not sure how much that's true, but skew on this is gonna be HCT09-M9C0L as a lady. Nice car, nice McLaren. I really like it a lot. Got the number 12 tempo on the side. Got the little air inlet there. I need to buy me a real pointer. Got the little air inlet right there coming in. Got the 12 on the side. Got the nice blacked out, what is that, 10 spoke or eight spoke wheels. Got the 12 on the front for the tempo. Got racing stripes. Now this is an interesting decision. They didn't bring the racing stripes to the rear of the car. I wonder why. Got your split there where the, I assume this hood portion comes apart. Love the fact that this car is a convertible. Look at the interior on this car. Hot Wheels actually did a good job on this for a mainline car. Normally they leave a lot of stuff out, but this particular case, they did the interior and the exterior fairly well. Now we'll see which end of this mainline car has been modeled, either the front or the back. But let's take a look around real quick. All right, we're gonna already see the back. Back is not necessarily modeled all that well. Got um, got the air exhaust right there. Pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure what this little this little divot is here on the on the rear of the trunk. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Is that the third tail light? Maybe could be. Okay. Or brake light, rather. Is that the brake light on this car? Could be, but the exhausts are up on top like a Carrera GT. Pretty cool. Just shows how Ford Carrera GT was in 2004. And then, what, did they show it at, like, I don't know, Paris Air Show? Um, Paris Air Show. Paris Car Show or something like that in uh, the year 2000. Really shows you how far ahead Porsche was at that point in time. Because this car, in many ways, is just a duplicate of a Porsche Carrera GT looks a good bit like it has that same feel not saying it is the same car I know there's Porsche fans out there there's McLaren fans out there not taking anything away from anything anyone has produced but nice little car this car looks good with the blacked out wheels I think I've mentioned before I'm not really a big fan of blacked out wheels but this car really really shows them off well. It's interesting how the paint scheme is, is reflecting my, my lamp multiple times there. It's almost like it's got multiple surfaces right there. Interesting. Coming around with the car. I'll bring you the top here in a minute, but I wanna, I wanna bring it all the way around and show you the car. Now, a lot of people have been looking at these McLarens on my, on my channel this week, and I didn't, rec I didn't, know that McLarens are that popular as a as a car that I would assume you got young kids putting them on their putting posters of them on their wall and drooling over them like we used to do when we were kids. I know not a lot of kids do that but I guarantee you a few of them still do. Now this is interesting. I don't know if you can see it but there are it's like a grill on the front between those two front hood hood portions. There's like a grill there. So there's an air inlet right there. And then is that a is that a gas port right there on top so you can fuel up while you're out on the track real quick? Could be. And then got the got the 12 on front. I assume the little Gosh, it's insanely small. The little sticker there might say Elva, might say McLaren, something along those lines. But looks great from the front. This car looks great from any side you go, go to with it. It is fantastic casting. Look at that. Very, very nice. I'll touch that. In, 
And this, at this angle, it almost looks like that little McLaren or Elva up front was something sticking up out of the, out of the paint. But look at that, wow. Tremendously good looking car. All right, let's show you the, let's show you the interior here. Get a little bit better light on it there. Bring it a little bit closer. Let you see it. Interestingly enough, this car has no wing on the back. Now, does a wing pop up? Mm, I'm not familiar with this car, so it might, might not. I doubt it, but we'll flip it over and let you see the other side here. Look at that. Really nicely done, McLaren. Nicely done. The triple black with the camel interior. Nice touch. All right, let's see where this bad boy was made at, so on and so forth. Okay. And then we got a little bit of modeling up at the front. Got a little bit of modeling in the middle there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And then virtually no modeling at the rear. Interesting, there's no there's no air diffuser at the rear. Looks like there's a couple of, are those exhaust pipes? Or is that some sort of diffuser at the rear? I'm not quite certain. But car's made in Malaysia. And just a great little car. All right. Enjoyed bringing it to you. Lower right is my little icon for subscribing. Tap it if you don't mind. Go ahead and subscribe. And we'll be bringing you use some more great cars here in the future such as this mclaren elva awesome car have a great day